I have already, I've taken a, a strong position against fracking. Um, geologically, Florida just does not have um, the geological makeup to withstand what fracking does when they drill into uh, the ground, they're creating many little earthquakes and fissures are going out and we have our aquifer right below all of this and we are one pollution incident away from having our water quality across the state of Florida destroyed. So absolutely no to fracking. I'll end with what I think we should do. So I'm going to say to the offshore drilling, look, I live in North Florida where the BP oil spill occurred. And even though oil was not lapping up on shore, the perception was that oil was lapping up on shore. So as a result, our economy took a real hit and it's still recovering from what happened years ago. My father, Governor Bob Graham, was actually the co-chair of the commission that, in, that, that evaluated what happened during the BP oil spill. And so things were put in place that sadly the Trump administration is dismantling and again, so we're one crisis away from having our economy, which is heavily based on tourism and our beaches and people wanting to come and, and, and lay out in the sun or swim in the ocean or swim in the Gulf. So we've got to talk about not just not drilling off of our beaches. We've got to talk about how do we prevent it. And the way we prevent that is by breaking the leaseholds that the oil and gas companies have that allow them to continue to have this conversation. That's the only thing that, that even gives them the opportunity to say, well, now we're going to start drilling because they have these leaseholds that they're holding on to. So as, as, as the governor of the state of Florida, I'm going to be working with Washington and as someone who served in Congress and has the relationships in D.C., friendships that will allow me to have those conversations, we're going to break these leaseholds so that the people of Florida never again have to worry about an oil spill off of our beaches. Wow. Then what we need to be doing, yep. we're the sunshine state. We need to be the solar energy state. We've got to do our part for making sure that the energy sources that we're using across the state of Florida are more renewable in nature. We've got to be driving down the use of any sort of carbon-based fuel because as ground zero, for rising sea levels. And right here in Tampa, you know what the challenges are with the rising sea levels. And um, I know, do you mind if I take a little sip of water? You're fine. I, I, I did a two hour debate last night, so I'm still. No, you're fine. Mm. Totally. Mm. I'm talking constantly. I'm ta constantly talking. <laughs> um, so we need to be doing our part in using solar energy as a larger portion of our energy source. And the way we must do that, every single one of these houses, every single building that's built, I commit as governor to any building that's built that's state financed, we will build it with solar energy already put into place so that we can be doing our part um, from a state perspective. But we need to make this available for Floridians. And right now, because the utility companies prohibit third-party ownership of solar energy, it makes solar energy not financially um, available to most Floridians. So we've got to we've got to work with the utility companies, which is something I'm looking forward to doing, to have them understand that the business model of the past is not the business model of the future. It's not the business model that Floridians want. Because I know most Floridians would love to be using solar energy not only for what it does for the environment, because it should, if done correctly, if we can do it through third-party ownership, drive down your, 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 drive down your utility cost. Mm -hmm. So my commitment is to turn uh, Florida into the solar energy state.